Loot for a fallen trooper. Hundreds of people packing together in Revere to say goodbye to state trooper Tamar Bucci. In a powerful moment, an all female group of state troopers brought the 34 year old's casket to a hearse to lead the procession. WBZ's Ken McLeod has more on how she's being remembered. Schools here in Revere sent kids home early today and have canceled classes for tomorrow as they try to clear the way for swarms of people to attend Trooper Bucci's wake and funeral. As the sun set at St. Anthony's tonight, the line of folks looking to pay their respects stretched down the sidewalk, including the wife of a trooper who graduated from the academy with Tamar Bucci. She's part of a sisterhood and a brotherhood to us, um, class of 85th. My husband graduated with her and it's still hard to believe. Hard to believe that Trooper Bucci was killed last Thursday night trying to help a driver pulled over on Route 93 in Stoneham, where her cruiser was hit by a tanker truck. She had worn the uniform of her dreams for less than two years. It rocked me and, uh, and that I didn't know her. Just felt a strange pull that I needed to be here today. The day began with an all female cast carrying the 34 year old from the funeral home for the ride over to the church. There, some 1,200 law enforcement officers would stand in formation, peeling off to go inside and pass by her casket. It was a scene that brought Bucci's father and family to tears. A spectacular show of respect with a somber tone. I'm just here to pay my respects because it's a job that they do every day and they never know if they're going home. Bucci, who was working out of the Medford barracks, is the 22nd Mass State Trooper to die in the line of duty. In her obituary, her family writes, Tamar knew how to find joy in difficult times and never hesitated to put herself behind the needs of others. That selflessness certainly resonated with those paying their respects tonight. We're trying to stay strong. This is a job that we, they chose to do, you know what I mean, to protect and serve, and it's an honor. Trooper Bucci's funeral is set for 11 o'clock tomorrow morning here at St. Anthony's. This church was picked partly because of its enormous seating capacity. Keep in mind, road closures in this area will kick in a couple of hours before that. In Revere tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.